Hello, my name is Alec. Brand Umi is kind of famous among of people who are interested in shiny smartphones. Most of the time their smartphones have really nice specification and nice design solution with a really good price. But they are not considered as a brand with highest quality of the product. But looks like the situation is changed. I talk with some Umi managers and they say they spend more resources for quality control. But let's start our review. New UMI DJ Note C2 run on Oven ROM. And compared with UMI DJ Note C, it has 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB of built-in memory, which possibility updated to 226 GB. At the first glance, you won't see anything special at design. Most of you, I think you would have some association with smartphones from Samsung. At the front side of the phone you could see 5.5 inch screen produced by Sharp and have a full HD resolution which give you 480 dpi. At the top of the phone you could see the speaker grill, front camera and LED indicator. From the bottom here is the fingerprint scanner at the center and function button from the sides. Fingerprint scanner don't show amazing result compared with more high-end devices. But in this price range it works quite well. Black shell of the phone made from the plastic and have a UMI Digi logo at the middle and 13 megapixel camera with flashlight at the top. As a connection port phone is have micro USB port and also have 3.5 mm jack. A phone support 2 nano SIM card or 1 SIM card and 1 SD card uh, up to 256 GB. What is in my opinion good enough. Phone have a 4000 mAh battery, what is the first glance sounds impressive. But don't forget two things. First is full HD screen, and second their own ROM. In terms of battery life, uh, phone kind of similar with Xiaomi Redmi 4, which have almost same battery. What this means for user is means that your phone will able to work about one and a half day, which normal using. But if you like to play games or watching video, your phone won't stand full day. Basically, it's same as my Redmi 4. In terms of performance, Antutu show only 40,000 points, which is kind of low result. But for daily using and playing not hardcore games, it's more than enough. Next moment, which I seen most important for average consumer, is the camera. Here is 13 megapixel sensor on my end camera and 5 megapixel on the frontal camera. In good lighting, basically all camera perform quite well. That's why I decided to test camera in low light condition. Basically, what you can see, camera not so impressive, but for the price 150 bucks, you could forgive the phone. I will put original files on the link below, and you can check the picture and video footage and make your own option. Honestly, say. I ask myself not big fan of UMI phones, but I can say that UMI most of the time good to design and phone looks nice. In terms of performance is good enough and if you're not hardcore phone user, but if I have a choice I would choose a phone from Xiaomi or Meizu which has kind of similar price. But of course it depends on you. On the description I will leave the link to the UMI Note C2 and 3 other phones which I consider as the main competitor of this phone. Thanks for watching and if you have any question feel free to ask in the comment below. Also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you next video.